a ice cold glacier fed water next to us there I think is a good lead in to discussing the landform to our right here. Kent, do you want to get in there and uh, tell us what we're looking at here? Well, the landform's an outwash plain. It's being uh, deposited by the meltwaters coming from the glacier. Parent material is glacial fluvial, primarily sands and gravels. Uh, the color, the milky color in the water is the silt and clay being carried out. But because the water is moving fairly slowly, there is some silt deposits occurring within the gravel bars. And this uh, will slowly build up over time. There's uh, some nice uh, flat bench-like surfaces in here uh, to uh, our left. Do you want to describe uh, what's the story there? What's it telling us? Well, Art, right now we are standing on the outwash plain level. What we see are four terraces that are stepped. Now what happened is the uppermost terrace is about our eye level if you look across there. So that would have been the high level of the terrace which would have come across about this high. And as the meltwater began to cut down, it would migrate back and forth across this landscape. So as the river came across, it cut down and took out this whole section. Then it would cut down and move back, cut down and move back. And it would create this series of steps. And we call these an outwash terrace, that's the landform. And it's composed of glacial fluvial parent materials, primarily sands and gravels, the same as we're seeing on the outwash plain off to our right. So this has some uh, interesting features in terms of it, uh, its characteristics as a parent material. Do you want to describe those a bit? Well, first of all, being glacial fluvial, we have sands and gravels primarily left behind. You can see the large gravel fragments in here, and the rest of the finer material is mostly sand. There might be a little bit of silt, but not very much. You see the wind blowing the silt off, but this is mostly sand and gravel. So this material is extremely well drained. It doesn't hold moisture well. Uh, water goes right through it. For growing uh, vegetation on here, it's, it's going to be fairly nutrient deficient as well because it's very high sandy content. Mm -hmm. We'd need some clay and organic matter in here to um, build up a nutrient base or, or uh, mm -hmm. capabilities for nutrients to hold on to the, the soil particles. But, but well drained and good for a building site. Oh, extremely building, yeah. uh, great for building site. You'll see uh, in these kinds of landscapes uh, in other parts of the country, they'll use them for gravel pits, mm -hmm. for road construction or, or whatever. And we see that all over. So these are a very, very important landform and parent material for road building, construction, housing, that kind of thing.